What's the story? About what? Are they starting the demolition now or what? Soon. We're, we're abating the asbestos, the asbestos right now. Oh, okay. So once the asbestos gets removed, then we can Is start Is that demo. why you have all the fence around to keep everybody out of here? Well, that and I, I'm tearing up the whole place. All this asphalt and everything all has to come out. Uh-huh. Get, get replaced. New sidewalk curb and gutter down this side. Yeah. You know the neighbors appealed at, last, at the last minute Friday night. A couple weeks ago? No. Friday night, they appealed it. They stopped the whole, everything. Demolition permit and all that stuff. Well, I haven't got my demo permit yet, so yeah. we'll see. Okay. Who are, you, who are you guys with? I'm the general contractor. I'm with the general contractor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there anything left inside the salvage? Not really. The hardwood floor still down and all that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that thing's like 10 years old. The hardwood floor is? Yep. Really? The lake flooded, and they had to uh, put in a whole new uh, flooring system. Did, that, did it did it flood this this building and stuff yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. I'm a neighbor. I took pictures. I was going down this street in the kayak. The water was up two feet over the front door. Where did all the water come from? Uh, the city people forgot to close the flood break gate there that goes under the street to the opens to the beach. Yeah. And they're the big these big screw things, you yeah. know. They forgot to do it. And all the water that came down from Salinas and everything down here comes through that channel to feed this lake. The, all the storm drain and stuff? Yep. Wow. From Del Monte to the golf course out at Rancho Cañada, all that water comes this way. It goes in the ocean, it goes through this lake. And so it was flooded. Yeah. Anyway. So so you're saying that a bunch of citizens uh, appealed? The, the, the local neighbors, yeah. Really? Yeah. The construction of the store? Yeah. Yeah. In the sharing of the parking lot, it's uh, it, it all the traffic's going to go through the neighborhood. And... It, by apparently as a law as I understand it, what everybody says is you can't route the commercial traffic through the neighborhood. And uh, the general feeling is that it's going to be denied. The store's not going to go in. Yeah. Well, it's still under review with the planning department, so. Yeah, well. Because I just checked on the permit status a couple days ago. Uh-huh. Well, see, that a couple days ago would have been Friday. They didn't know till like 4 o'clock Friday night. That it was appealed, and once the appeal came in, uh, then uh, there has to be a city council hearing on it, and the city council decision is made. And if the city council says yes, then there's a, another hearing that can go to the courts. So you're on hold right now. Wow. Yeah, you need to. Uh, I'm gonna run over to the building department. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, I I was over there once, just like I said, just checking on the permit status. Yeah. Because this fencing's going to have to come down because nothing is going to happen here for a month or two. And those businesses over there need this parking. Yeah. Well, they, uh, my office knows about it. Um, and I'm sure Fresh and Easy will know about it by this afternoon. Yeah. So Are you going to use wrecking balls in here or what? I don't know what they're going to use. Probably not. Uh, are you local? Uh, no. Okay. I'm out of San Diego. You're an, you're an asbestos remover, right? He is. Okay. Yeah, I used to be a general contractor years ago, and they came out that I had to take an asbestos class and all that stuff, and pay for yeah. the asbestos removal, all that stuff, which is a good thing because it's a bad disease. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it can I see up. it's taking your voice away. You can't speak anymore. <laughs> so anyway, so this fencing is primarily just for asbestos control, huh? No, it's it's uh, uh, site security. Uh huh. Okay. And it's uh, to prevent uh, accidents from people coming in here. If I have an open trench in here and we're yeah. working it, prevent the public from coming in here and getting hurt. So you're going to bulldoze and level the lot and all re regrade it and everything? Regrade it and repave it, yeah. Uh, what was your deadline on that? Uh, the, the, we give them possession of the store on January 31st. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're you're like start to finish guy. Mm -hmm. Is that your specialty? Is commercial building? Yeah. Yeah. Do you hire local guys? A lot um, of local guys here. Well, if they if they get in and bid bid the jobs, yeah, they have to they have to bid it. No with us. laborers and stuff like that. <laughs> no, if we have if we need general labor and stuff like that, we just call like labor ready or or something like that. Uh. So because it's kind of few and far between. Yeah. Well, that's really interesting. I was kind of shocked when I came by today because I was over here yesterday and I just saw those things. You already started gutting the inside of the building? No, just asbestos removal. Was there much there? 
Uh, there's a considerable amount. Probably be probably about maybe five of these dumpsters, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we've got uh, we got two of them full right now. Yeah. All right.